Hi, and welcome to Game of the Week. So it's Halloween right now, at least when this video is coming out. I don't know when you're choosing to watch this video, but uh, it's Halloween when the video comes out. And uh, in the spirit of Halloween and dressing things up, I decided that I would go ahead and get a car and dress it up in some sort of a costume. So uh, early in last week's videos, I mentioned that one of my favorite movies growing up was a movie called Herbie the Love Bug. You maybe know Herbie Fully Loaded or whatever. He's a Volkswagen bug. He's got the racing trip for the 53 on him. Well, uh, if you look here, I decided to get a Volkswagen Bug and dress it up exactly like that. So I'm going to be exploring some with Herbie the Love Bug today. So uh, at the end of yesterday's video, we transitioned everything to spring. Not that that's apparent because now it is nighttime. But also right before I did the final race, uh, I unlocked a barn find, which is here in this purple circle. What a barn find is is it's a car, like an old rare car that you can't buy in the game, you have to find it. So we are gonna go look for this barn find right now and the game's gonna want me to turn around. All right, so we're gonna go and we're just gonna like drive around looking for this ratty old barn and then we're gonna find this old car inside that eventually they're gonna restore and we'll get. I've already picked up, I think two, two or three, I think three barn finds so far. So this will be the fourth barn find that I've gotten in this game so far, but this is the first one that I've actually done on camera, so. Uh, I always love the barn finds because you never know what you're gonna get and I'm really excited about it I know that they published a list of what all the barn finds are I never look at that because I always want to be surprised by it I never want to know what's coming, you know because half the time I've never even heard of what the barn find car is so um, Yeah, but it's always it's always something kind of cool I think it would be cool to get like a DeLorean or something as a barn find I don't think we would at least not not in this because I think all the barn finds tend to be classic cars rare cars or cars that are um Rel like relevant to the area in which the game takes place so uh in the first game forza horizon uh took place in colorado so all the barn finds were probably uh ca cars that you would have found in america back in a certain time and date uh the second one was like italy and france so you found a lot of french and italian cars probably maybe a, like it was probably just mostly european cars that you found in barn find maybe a rare american car i can't remember them all uh horizon 3 stuff that was probably found in australia for some reason or whatever uh, some old Australian cars, definitely for sure. So this one, uh, all of the ones so far, I think, have been British cars. Although, at least one of them was a Ford, which is an American car company, but I think it was a European Ford model because, I don't know, it was something. So, and then what was the other one? There was, there was an MG, and that that's definitely a, uh, it's definitely a British car. And I want to say there was a, there was a third one. What was the third? Maybe there only was two. I don't know. This is either the second or the third one. Or the fourth one. I, well, it's not the second. I know for a fact it's not the second, so it's either the third or the fourth one. Oh, so I'm already in the purple circle. I was just very distracted driving around. And also, it's night. My least favorite time to be looking for a barn find because it is so hard to see where anything is. Also, I'm in a car that has absolutely no power. I need to not be driving a car with, like, no horsepower here. Okay. So there's all these night tractors going around. This car's not even going to be powerful enough to get up this hill, is it? Nope. Especially because there's also these rocks. Oh! Well, color me surprised. Look at that. We're actually... Herbie's climbing up the hill! Let's get up there. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And watch. The, uh... Barn may not actually even be up here. So, I don't know. It could be down at the bottom of the hill. It could be somewhere else. I'm guessing it's somewhere kind of obscurely up here, kind of hidden in the woods. Because there... I think the only time there's ever been a barn find that was, like, easy to find was where let's see forza horizon i think the very first barn find i ever found was like right next to the road and i think that was the only one that's ever been like really close to the road that i can recall maybe there was one in horizon 2 i don't know but most of them are usually fairly off the beaten path and you gotta you gotta drive a little ways to get to them all right let's see see it's so much easier in the daytime when you can kind of see for a distance also i it doesn't help my situation in that uh, I have a lot of bright lights on around me so that you can see me and right now it's kind of a dark screen So it's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to see because of with all the reflection and you know Darker things become darker when you have light pointed at you It's like when you're driving into the Sun like everything's bright But also everything around you is dark because the Sun is Consuming the vision and your eyes focus on what the brightest thing is and then make everything else look darker in comparison Which I think everything else is darker in comparison to the Sun so yeah, let's see. Hopefully daylight comes around because I'm really needing this barn to become visible for me. Because otherwise we're just driving around in the woods being silly. But don't worry, I'm going to have some racing that I'm going to be doing today. I know that this isn't the most exciting moment right now as we're just driving aimlessly through the woods right now. Okay, so we're going to come over here. So apparently 
It wasn't up on the hill necessarily. We're gonna be I forgot that barn finds sometimes take a really long time if you're bad at looking for things. Like I am. So it's not a good situation. Do I see it over here? Those are just road signs. Those are not barns. Abandoned barns. But here's the thing about barn finds. I just assumed that we're straight up stealing somebody's car. Like somebody's left an old car in the barn. That doesn't mean that we can just take it, right? Or is it people calling and say, hey, there's this old car in my barn. You can come take it if you want it. I mean, I guess that's that's a, a way that it could happen. But they never really explicitly say that that has happened. So I've always just assumed we're finding ones. They're like, oh, yeah, let's just take this cool car. So they just find a cool old car and they just take it, which seems all kinds of illegal like it shouldn't be something we should be able to do all right anybody see a barn anybody see a barn all right see, i'm still in the purple circle sometimes it helps to like drive over where people are oh that's not a road all right let's unless is it up here because sometimes if you go right where the you see the names that's where the barn is but it is not in this instance okay it's not over there because we're getting outside of the circle here all right, so it must be down here maybe somewhere a little bit. Barn. At least it's daylight now and it's a little bit easier to see. Although if it becomes foggy, which it looks like it wants to, that might actually make things more complicated. So I want to say that the barn is... Go oh, that's a cliff. Okay, I just rolled the... Co okay, we're going to roll. All right, well, we rolled a little bit. We're still actually looking pretty good for having rolled. All right, we're a Rolls Royce. Get it? Ah, ah. Oh, what if I rolled a Rolls Royce? What about that? Where's this barn? I need to find this barn. Is this whole video just going to be like searching for this one barn? It actually might be. I don't know. All right. So maybe it's up over this way, maybe. See, it doesn't really give you a good indication of where the barn is. It just says it's in roughly this area. So good luck. Which I kind of like that where it's like you have, you know, you get a chance to like look around. Okay. Is that? That's sort of a structure okay that is not a barn normally the barns are not part of like what looks like a populated area normally the barns are kind of isolated on their own away from things I'm trying to remember if that has always been the rule for barns and barn finds i want to say it is but what do i know i could be totally wrong all right so it's not there all right so i'm gonna drive back over here now watch it Everything I said about, they're always isolated in that. Oh, excuse me, picnic tables. That's very, that's a very Herbie the Love Bug thing to do, to, like, drive through stuff and, like, cause a big mess and mayhem. That's, that's very Herbie. All right, let's, I also have a giant picture of myself with Herbie when I was six years old. That happened. It was in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. There's a movie cars museum in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Maybe you've been there. Maybe you've been to it, but you know what I'm talking about. Herbie's sitting right out front there, or he used to be. I don't know if he still is. It's been, it's been going on ten years since I've been there, so, um... All right, so it's not over there. I already looked up the hill here, right? Or no, did I not? This seems like an open area. I haven't been in yet. Oh, okay, just smash the front of this car right off. All right, that bumper's hanging on for dear life. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and search over here then. All right, so there's still a fair amount of area to be explored over here. I thought I had gone over this area too. Apparently I didn't. Okay, well, shows how unthorough I've been in my search for this barn. Oh, that's just a house. All right. Don't get excited about just a house. Just keep looking for the barn. All right. That's not the barn. I And all it, luckily, all the barns look the same. So in this one, it looks like a uh, small, like, brick, uh, like an air, airplane hangar, kind of. But it's, like, really, really small. So normally, they're tucked away, kind of hidden behind stuff. All right. So I'm on the edge here with this. I don't see it. I would have thought in the trees would have been a good place to hide it. Not finding it here? Yeah, just go ahead and run right into that tree, why don't I? Alright, so is it here? It is not here. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! I think I found it! I think it's right there! I think I'm heading right towards it! See, it kinda, it's like a, like a arch kinda shape? Cause it looks like an airplane here? Oh, that's definitely the barn. Here we go, we're gonna pull up. Yes! I found it! There we go, it only took me like 11 minutes to do it! Or 10 it. minutes, or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's break in there and find out. Now, last time I found a barn... <gasps> A Jaguar XJ220, that's an awesome bar fi barn find. Not a bar find, a barn find. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's a cool supercar. Oh, that's, that's interesting that that's a barn find because I'm pretty sure that was a car that you could buy in Forza Horizon 3. Now, this car was interesting because it was one of the one of the first cars to be able to go over 200 miles an hour, I think. Like, it, there was a time when it was the fastest car in the entire world. So, oh, look at that. I do like how they do the dirt on the car. Oh, I got a skill point. There we go. 
Yeah, unlock the perk and now people are gonna love me. Ooh, I've got a bunch of points to spend. All right, let's do that. Multiplier builds twice as fast. That'll be good. Yeah, what do we got here? What's this one? All right, drive without fear. Your car can go to six. Oh, that'll be great for getting skill points and stuff. All right, and then car laughs in the face of danger. It does because it's Herbie the Love Bug. Each skill chain now takes two collisions to break. Oh, that's good. I can't afford that. That costs 25 points. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't afford any of the rest of those things, so I'll just leave them. All right, so see, they've modeled the dirt on there. I like how they do that. That's kind of cool. And then when it rains, it'll wash it all off. I do actually like how they've done that. All right, so we still got time. Let's go ahead and find a race to do. What do we got that's new that I haven't beaten or done yet? Um, that's a new dirt race over there, but I am wondering... Yeah, I guess I can go do a dirt race, right? Why not? Why not go do a dirt race? All right, we got to make our way over there. Don't get stuck on a tree. Here we go. Here we go. We're just going to... Well, I guess we're in the middle of this field, so I guess we can just kind of drive, drive across. Drive across. I've forgotten how to speak English. All right. Let's get across here. We'll drive across that river because water don't scare us. That's right. And bam. That should have destroyed the car on its own. And then we just land on top of the stone wall. But again, the stone walls don't matter. So, just like the points on whose line is it anyway? Why does it say... Two? Oh, that's the distance marker. I thought it was like the Hollywood sign. I thought it was saying like 10 million. I was just like, 10 million what? I was overthinking that right there. Eh, we're doing fine. All right, get through here. Wha-bam! Wha-bam! Oh, we're on the road now. Oh, look, a speed zone! We're going to get the record for the slowest speed in a speed zone here. All right, here we go. How am I going 50 what? Okay. Because when I looked, it said it was going 48, but then the speed zone said it was going like 52, so I don't really know what was going on with that. All right. Here we go. All right, so the speed is going up, which is a pleasant surprise. I didn't think it would be, and then it's going to slow down when I go around this turn here, and I'm hitting things and stuff. Oh, it's still going up. All right, cool. I didn't lose any speed there. That's even better. Cool. 63.84 miles per hour. Average speed. New personal best. All right. Let's let's see. No custom events. All right, so we got to do the Drentwell Trail, and I only have the escort to do it in. All right, so I need to get more dirt cars that I can do races in because otherwise I'm gonna be doing most of the races this entire week in the Ford Escort, which I I feel like I've done done a fair amount of them. And I feel like a fair amount of the races that I've done have also been dirt races, but I feel like at least two out of the three categories of race that you can do are primarily like off-road races only one of them is on the road which is like sprint and circuit races but then there's uh the dirt races there's the scrambles there's the uh cross country events which they're they're both but they're also off-road so yeah all right derwent water derwent derwent water trail all right let's do it i'm ready for this i'm ready to win yet another race oh i'm up against some modern subarus here and what is that a Renault in front of me might be I don't know. So, yeah, I'm still working towards uh, unlocking more points of influence, which hopefully by the end of this week of video, so we got two more videos after this, um, I will have unlocked summer, and then I will have run the full spectrum of seasons in two weeks of videos, which would be great. So, all right, let's see. Cause, well, if I spent one video in wintertime, well, two videos in wintertime, really, and then a couple in springtime, I don't know. We'll see. I have hopes and ambitions for this. All right, so that looks like a solid wall, but I'm not going to use it because I don't need it because I'm better than that because I'm skilled enough to drive. Oh, I like that I got a show-off thing. That was fun. So uh, even though this is spring, everything is handling just like it's summer. Really, the only thing that seems to change is the scenery because on at least the off-road tracks, the amount that you seem to slip slide around seems to be exactly the same no matter what the season is. Uh, I don't know if that increases drastically. Maybe it goes easy on you for your first... Uh, time through the seasons let's use that rewind i feel like i have actually done a pretty good job of using a fairly low amount of rewinds through these two weeks of videos i know there have been some but um and i knew there would be but i feel like i've done a pretty good job of like limiting myself to them to like very few cases although i think i've done one in every single video this entire week so <laughs> maybe that's maybe i'm not as good as i think i am at it i don't know it's more easy to tell when I'm going back through and I'm editing the videos and I can tell what I did. It's it's hard to remember in real time when I'm doing it, so I don't know. All right. Oh, look out, chickens. I have never hit a chicken yet. The chickens are always crossing the road. There's always three of them, but what happens if you hit the chicken? Do you get to keep the chicken and then eat it? I mean, it's not going to be good. It's going to be very, like, flat and squished and 
dead. Well, I guess you want it to be dead. Nobody wants to eat live chicken. You need to cook chicken properly. If you undercook chicken, you could get very sick. And uh, you don't want to do that. You you want to make sure that you properly cook all of your chickens so that you uh, you don't get food poisoning because that would be bad. I think the same goes for... Oh, I definitely think I hit a chicken there. Did I not hit a chicken? I didn't get any, like, skills message about a chicken, so maybe they all got away. I don't know. Do they always get away? Is it like in uh, Midnight Club 3 where you couldn't hit pedestrians anymore and they always were able to dodge you when you, like, ran up to them? Okay, I'm gonna use another rewind because I was just sliding uncontrollably there. Let's use another one. Okay, so never mind what I was saying about the rewind. I use them so frequently and it's ridiculous. All right. Get through there. I don't need to slide. Maybe the sliding does affect a little bit, but it's not much. I don't know. Maybe... Is it because I'm really skilled at playing racing games, maybe, that I don't notice it? Because I'm... I've raced on so many different surfaces that it really doesn't register with me. I just... I guess I was expecting it to be a much more drastic difference between the surfaces. But I guess when you think about it, when you're driving the road... Uh, in the different seasons, the road surface really doesn't change that much. I mean, you sometimes, you'll, sure, you'll hit ice or snow or something, you'll slip or slide, maybe you'll hit a wet patch or your hydroplane or something, but I mean, those are rare instances that those will happen. It doesn't happen constantly throughout an entire season. I don't know. I don't know. There's more to explore and understand about this game, and there's, there's further that I need to go, and I'm gonna go further, but I'm gonna do it in tomorrow's video! So yeah, I'm still having fun, we got that barn find, so hopefully in tomorrow's video at some point, uh, we will get our hands on that Jaguar XJ220, and we'll be able to drive it around and have some fun racing in that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please give it a like, I'd really appreciate that, and also if this is your first time to a Game of the Week video, welcome, we are so glad to have you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future Game of the Week videos coming up, and also if you like me and want more of me in your life, you can follow me on my social media, on Twitter and Instagram, at Eric Gowder, got the graphic right there on the screen so you know exactly how to find me there. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.